Hi everyone, a fairly short video today. Um, I've got in front of us here a Perry Miniatures plastic uh, French light cavalry horse for the Napoleonic period. Um, and I'm going to paint this up as a chestnut or, or brown horse really quickly, really straightforwardly um, to be part of a unit of um, Italian chasseur à cheval. So, um, I've sprayed the model with some Army Painter Fur Brown. You can of course apply this uh, with a brush, perhaps over a, a grey base coat, but the can's a quick way of doing it and it's a nice even finish. We've got um, some sheepskin covering the back of the horse here for the rider to sit on. Um, and I'm painting this in with some Army Painter Skeleton Bone. I will need to do a second coat of the Skeleton Bone. And the next colour I've got um, is Army Painter Angel Green. And there's a couple of things to paint here. Um, underneath the front of the sheepskin um, we've got the uh, rider's cloak rolled up. Um, and at the back of the model we've got the um, valise. This is sort of a travel bag if you like um, with the belongings of the cavalry man in it. Um, there will be adding a white border around the end so I'll just leave that in the brown just now. There are a couple of straps to go on the top um, so I don't mind if I'm a bit messy here because they will be black. I'll do the same on the other side. Now I'm doing a detail on um, the edges of the um, shabrak to give the sheepskin its proper name. Um, these are known as the wolf's teeth or I've heard them referred to as shark teeth as well. Um, the colour of these would vary by um, regiment so you might have yellows, reds. Um, I've got a nice uh, purple colour for um, the regiment of Italian Chasseur Cheval that I'm doing. Um, so I'll fill them in all the way along. Um, this is Hexed Lichen um, from Vallejo Game Colour. I've got some black details to pick out. Um, I'm actually using a dark grey. This is German grey um, Vallejo model colour. So there's things like the eyes and the nostrils I like to put in. Um, but you've got a lot of straps. So round about the head of the horse. All this horse furniture. Um, you've got reins going up to the rider. Uh, keeping the sheepskin in place. One going over there. As I mentioned earlier there are um, straps over the valise. I usually find there's three. Around about the tail. Um, and also picking out hooves as well. Uh, one wee tip is that if you're intending to give the horse any sort of white um, stockings, um, socks around the ankles, leave those hooves brown. Um, tended to be that you'd have brown hooves where you had that coloration on the leg. I have some Vallejo off-white um, and I'm going to paint on the details onto the valise around the end piece there. Um, I'll also use this to do a little sock on one of the legs. One final detail you might want to pick out um, is a bit of coloration on the face of the horse. A little star in there. Okay, I've got my base colours on. I've got a makeup brush with a little bit of uh, game colour, uh, Elfic Flesh from Vallejo. Um, you'll find that some of these bases have sculpted areas which are <clears throat> decent for testing your brush on. Just make sure you don't have too much paint. Um, I'm going to pick out a couple of ears in particular. The hairs on the tail. Um, and mane. But also, this is a really effective way of doing a quick highlight on black straps 
The straps all have a nice sharp edge and the dry brush will pick them out really easily. The hooves and the knees and other joints, they get a slight dry brush as well. I'll finish the dry brush and come back in a second. There's a couple of bits of uh, metal to pick out. I've got plate mail metal from Army Painter. I got the bit, a bit between the teeth. Um, there's a couple of clasps. This one's a bit hidden by the horse's uh, muzzle. Center of the face. Um, and this sort of crescent moon shaped detailing. Gonna hit the model with an all over wash. Army Painter soft tone. Let's straight out the bottle. Don't want to leave any big um, pools anywhere. You see it pulling a bit too much at the back of the leg, so just keep moving it around. Have a look at it after about 30 minutes when it's dry. And here's a still of the finished horse. So this was a, a periplastic a uh, 28 millimeter uh, light cavalry horse for uh, French Napoleonics. Um, I've painted this to use in a unit of Italian Chasseurat Cheval, um, which I will start the painting process of the riders soon. I'll make a video on that and share it with you. I um, hope this has been a, a useful video on how to get a, a horse done in a no frills fashion. Um, if you've got any comments, please pop them below and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.